Hey everybody, this is Connie, and um, welcome back to my Paranormal Romance Obsession. And this week's we're going on to Laurel K. Hamilton's Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series, books 13 and 14. We are that far along with the books. Um, we've still got a long ways to go because there are like 23 books. But we're going we're going to talk about book 13, which is Micah, which is the only book that is in um, regular reader format in in small paperback. The rest of them I have in in hardcover. Um, this one did not come out in hardcover, I do not believe. But um, Micah is my favorite character, or favorite guy character so far in Anita's books. I love Micah. There's just something about him. Uh, first of all, I love his name. <laughs> but this, her cover shows him with blonde hair. I don't, in my mind, he is not blonde. He has got dark hair. But the body, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> let's talk about Micah. All right. So Micah is book 13, like I said. There are lots of reasons to raise the dead. Some private, some public. In this case, the Fed have a witness who died before he could speak on the record. They want him raised so his testimony can be taken. So here I am on a plane to Philadelphia, flying off to do my job. But I'm not alone. Micah is with me. Micah, head of the St. Louis Were Leopard Pard, king to my queen, and only one of my lovers who can stir my blood with just a glance from his chartreuse cat's eyes. I was happy to have him by my side, until he mentioned that this will be our first time alone together. No master vampire, no alpha werewolf, just me and Micah, and all my fears and doubts. And that is paper talking about Micah. See, this isn't a very, a really long book, but I just, I love Micah. I just love him. All right, the next book and number 14 is Dance Macabre. Isn't that pretty? There's Laurel right there. Okay, so let's hear about book 14, Dance Macabre. Anita Blake should be concentrating on a dangerous situation, the ardour. The sexual power that flows between Anita and Jean-Claude, master vampire of the city, and Richard, the vo volatile werewolf who loves her passionately, is reaching new levels, perhaps evolving into something entirely new. It seems to be choosing new lovers for Anita, acting with a will of its own. The unexpected effect of this is that Jean-Claude's own powers as Master Vampire have grown to new levels, and Richard, only always unpredictable, is changing too. However, as the days pass, Anita finds herself less interested in vampire politics than in an altogether more personal concern. She may be pregnant. And if she is, whether the father is a vampire, a werewolf, or something else entirely, she knows full well that being a federal marshal, known for raising the dead and executing vampires, is no way to bring up a baby. Let's read what it says on the inside cover of Dance Macabre. It was the middle of November. I was supposed to be out jogging, but instead I was sitting at my breakfast table talking about men, sex, werewolves, vampires, and the thing that most unmarried but sexually active women fear most. Anita Blake needs to be concentrating on a dangerous situation. This is the same thing I just read. Just a minute. Yep, that, everything else is the same thing that I just read. So that is Dance Macabre. And this one's got kind of a, a ballerina shoe that is kind of tied around her neck there. I love the colors that she chooses. Anyway, this time is books 13 and 14, Micah and Dance Macabre. So if you have read these books, please let me know what you think. And if you're looking forward to reading these books, uh, let me know too. And I will talk to you in my next installment.